Hello friends, family and other creatures of the sea and welcome to a best of three between special here in the top left and solar here in the bottom right of Babylon. So we're opening up with a three rex here in a GSL qualifier match. Exciting stuff indeed, and exciting stuff indeed as this is um, this is a winner's match actually for special versus solar. And that means that uh, if one of these players wins, which is going to happen 100%, uh, they will qualify for the GSL. GSL, I think, currently only has 24 spots uh, in their tournament, so it's a little bit harder than back in the day. As we have uh, these three bad boy barracks over here going up. What a great first build here for Special. Solar's not quite going to scout it. Look at this. Special's done his research, and it's not that hard to do your research if your opponent... Uh oh No, 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 not the SCV, dude. Okay, it's going back home. Uh, if your opponent recently actually played in the in the Dreamhack Summer, which of course Solar did, Special did not do it. Instead, decided to focus on the GSL and stay in Korea. So Solar, a lot of information now. There's the replay pack for that also got released, and I bet I bet you Special watched that. Now here comes a drone pool. Drone pool usually not considered to be a very good response against this, as there's simply too many Marines. And if you control, oh my God. If you control correctly as a Terran, you should not lose them. Oh no, this is over. This is... This is it, no? Losing two Marines for free. Third one's gonna go down as well. What did this kill? Lost three Marines, killed three drones. Spine is over halfway done. Queen is about to complete. And the links are officially out. Two of them making their way across the map. We'll start working on this depot wall. I, this is awful. This is a 3-rex. This is not a 2-rex. With a 2-rex, it is kind of okay if you, you know, you kill a couple of drones and you force a big pullout. But with a 3-rex, you actually need to do something. Now, this is usually considered, like I said, an incorrect response here out of solar. Or not the optimal response with a massive drone pool. Um, it, this is not supposed to happen like this. It really isn't. But it did. And Solar's going to be pretty darn happy about it. Links make their way across the map. Special forced into sending Marines homebound. Um, I mean, this is awful. This is legitimately awful. The only thing he can really do right now is get a low ground CC, kind of play it from there. But uh, this is this is great for Solar. This is all around just good for Solar. I wonder what the plan is for Special. Is he wanting to get that low ground CC? Is he going to go for uh, a, a bit of a worker pool? We do have link speed coming out right now as more links make their way across the map. Ah, this is just painful because if these links make their way across the map and the marines are on solar side of the map oh it's a fake it's a fake CC. he cancelled it even i'm not sure why like he has plenty of cash for the next five minutes anyway marine production continues there's two spines though isn't there there are two spines indeed solar is not quite prepared for it Let's take a look at the first person here. Of Solar. Does he pull the third queen down as well? Yep, drones coming off the line. Spine actually in a little bit of trouble. Spine target fire on these marines is good. Now start targeting some SCVs. That is not quite what you want. Transfuse goes down. That was a pretty big deal here. Three queens still alive though. And with more and more links being produced, I do believe that in combination with the spine, this is going to be just fine here for our Zerg players. Also managed to... Uh, Burst the wall here with a single link. So no more marine production behind this. Metabolic boost is about to finish up as well. And with constant production, I really don't think there's any way for special to win this game. It is 16 links and one queen versus 15 marines. But metabolic boost is a huge game changer here. Reinforcements can't reach this army anymore. Queen is in some trouble, but so are these marines. GG gets called. Special loses game number one. And Solar takes the lead. Special not quite done with the cheeses here. As um, he's going for... I'd almost, I'd almost consider this the standard at this moment on the map. Literally every Terran, their sister, their mom, their daughter, their son, their father, and their brother have been doing this game. This, this build. It's actually insane. Like the amount of... It's always the same position as well. Like if I was a Zerg, I'd legit just start blind scouting that with a drone. At least for the, you know, the next week and a half or so. Like tell Terrans to stop doing that. Send an o your first overlord there. I don't care. It's like, it's so freaking obvious at this point. It's almost starting to bug me a bit. You know, it's like, come on guys. Is this, is this really the only build you have? Is it really? That's just sad, isn't it? That's just sad. It makes me sad for you. 
pull first for Solar, who's rushing into speed, which is pretty much, I don't want to say the blind counter, but it really is kind of just the blind counter to this particular build. All those Zergs have been keen on it, on Grassman in general. We've seen a lot of proxy proxy racks with Reapers. We've seen a lot of 3 racks Reaper as well. Um, Clam has been playing it. Now, that's, that's one of these players that only does things once they're, you know, proven beyond any reasonable doubt. Now, he's a, Clem is a true scientist, but he doesn't do any of the science himself, you know? He just reads studies of other people the entire day. He's like, oh, that looks interesting, but I need some stronger evidence for this. He's like, all right. Not quite there yet. Maybe a couple more hundred games of this winning straight up against the Zerg. And, and everything needs to be covered properly as well. So the moment Clem does, like, some cheesy build order, it's basically not cheese anymore. It's just, it is a proven all-in, you know, that he believes with good control can always win. And Clem has been playing this. Now, Special also playing it here against Solar. As that my... <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is a really bad start. You're not supposed to lose a Reaper before Queens are out. You're really not supposed to lose Reapers after Queens are out either, but... Oh, it's taking so much damage. This is actual game over. Triple CC is a follow-up, but... Ah, this is fairly bad. This is... Well, fair, this is really, really bad. It's awful. Pretty much game ending damage. And now Metabolic Boost has uh, finished. Sense in the barracks. I never liked this move, but all Terrans have been doing it. Mine doesn't connect. Thrones are being taken out. Um, that's nice. I have some actual damage as well as another Reaper falls against just three Lings. Four drones have gone down, but so have four Reapers. At the same time, Lings are flooding across the map, and I think this might actually just win, no? You can't outbuild this. I wish speed building was a thing, or at least special wishes speed building was a thing. The one marine is going to straight up die. And this wasn't even an all-in. This is just a flood. That's game. Um, all right, well, that's weird. I wanted to do just one series, but um, let, let's see if special has another series that we can follow this up with. Uh, the, the other, the, the lower bracket qualifier series, because this is too short. This is like, what, five, six minutes, seven minutes total. It's not enough. Let's hop into the next one. Second qualifying match here for special is between uh, him and Scarlet. Once again, opening up on Babylon, just like that last series. I, I, for a second, I, I wasn't quite sure if that actually was the first game or the last, because the Babylon game is still so fresh in my mind. <laughs> and that's because the entire series lasted seven minutes. Not a great look, special. Not a great look. Uh, it's going to be another proxy rex here on the map. Might just be the exact same thing, right? I mean, why not? It didn't work. In the first series, why not try it again? See if it can work this time around. It's also one of these things where if you have a build and you know these matches aren't being live broadcasted and you like the build on that particular map, you can keep repeating it again and again, which is why I always love when I'm playing a big tournament and none of my matches are being casted. It means you can repeat strategies. While if you're being casted, you know that everyone and you know all the other players are watching. You know that. Even if you only have five minutes in between the other match, you can quickly skip through the VODs. Like, hey, where's the barracks position of that proxy three Rex? What did he do? You know, everyone is doing that. It's allowed as well. It's not illegal. That's how the game is supposed to be played. Like you're trying to gather as much information on the others. It's going to be a hatch first here for Scarlet, who sends out an overlord. It's not going to move far enough to spot these barracks. Slight deviation from earlier here for special, where earlier he built all of the barracks up here. Now there's two on the low ground down there. See how uh, Scarlet's going to deal with this. Gas is mining. And the scout's just going to come very late, right? It's very, very late. This pool is going to be done soon. Here comes the first marine. Plus two SUVs. Same exact setup as last time. Scarlet sees this. What's our response? There's one drone down. It's going to be a road run or bailing nest. Second gas road run. Bailing nest would be really weird. You never see that really. I'm not sure why I said that. Double queens. No links yet. No links at all. No drone pool. So SCV scout goes in towards the main base. Now, we're basically seeing the decision tree here. You know, the different branches of the decision tree that special has in progress. You're like, okay, no links on the, ro on the low ground. No drone pool. Um... No spine. That means we get to go in towards the main base for a little bit. Perhaps still 236 when the queens start popping. Minor drone pool here is going to surround some of these marines. But this is... No, well, actually, it's a pretty bad start once again for special. If he's not careful because these links are coming in. 
And that means that Scarlet, I feel like if the drones would have continued pulling, this could have been huge. Lynx are out. Roaches are in production now. Oh no, three SCVs and three Marines go down against four drones. That is a bad trade once more here for Special. Special thought that he would eventually get this hatchery anyway. He didn't care about that anymore. He said, no, I want to get a little bit of drone damage for free, but... Oh no, that's three games in a row now where I feel like the micro is the deciding factor in a negative way for him. So the roaches are out. We have to CC on the low ground. Is he going to pull the exact same trick again? I don't think so. The moment he sees these roaches, he knows that this little party is officially over. As a bunker starts at home right now and Scarlet starts... Uh, moving towards the other side of the map, I think with these links and roaches, Bunker is going to be in time and there's no Overlord in position for high ground vision. Like if you have an Overlord over here, you can perhaps start biling that Bunker from a distance. Um, but Scarlet instead has completely pulled out of gas and is going into heavy, heavy macro mode right now. Triple gasless CC coming out of special. This will be... Wait, what is this? Bar is this going to be another barracks? No, it's just going to move down. Looked like he wanted to get a barracks. This is not a fight Scarlet can really take. I don't entirely approve of this one. It's going... To, well, actually, for... What, what? No, I approve of this. This ended up going way better than I thought it did. Four SCVs down, a couple of Marines as well. Annoying part, perhaps, is that you feel less safe as you lose all your fighting units. But with pure Queen, you should be capable of achieving quite a bit. 27 works already for Scarlet against a mere 19 for Special. The only way that Special is winning this game now is... I actually don't have any... I thought I would figure out a, an ending to that sentence. But I don't really have an ending to that sentence. I, I don't see how Special is winning this game. It needs to be a trick, but you can't really pull a trick if you're playing triple CC gasless. Like, what, you got to move them across the map with 7 Marines and 35 SCVs without any upgrades on them? No, it's impossible. Scarlet is already saturated on two bases. Special isn't even saturated on one base. Now, if Scarlet manages to lose this game, though, that would be very impressive. Because that would have to be it, you know? Like, it, it, it wouldn't be Special winning, it would be Scarlet losing 100%. Perhaps one scenario is in which Scarlet is so far ahead that she doesn't believe she can lose anymore. And she messes Corruptors. Try and get a mental edge for the next game already. They're playing like yeah, mass Corruptor into Hydras without upgrades. Something like this. I, I It's... I. I legitimately see no option here. Like, this Marine push should not be capable of doing anything. I think just the Queens are good enough. Three Queens and a Roach. Like, this is this is seven and a half Marine. Not even a half. It's a seven one-third of a Marine. Idiots. Back home you go, buddy. Get on out of here, son. Barracks, barracks. Oh, it's going to be five racks. It's not a real build. That's not a real build. 1-1 one, one is on the way here for melee and characters. I mean, this game is so uber over. This is so, it's so ridiculously over. Like, they, I don't even have words for how over this game is. You're going to build reactors or just straight marines out of these? I think just straight marines, right? You don't have time for reactors. Come on. Start building, brother. Yep, there we go. So it's going to be a stim combat push. I... Like, unless Scarlet really, really wets the bat here. I, I don't see it. Like, the creep is insane as well. That is... She is so good at this. Like, the single tumor spreading. Always to the very edge of the creep. Like, so precise with this. Very speedy as well. I don't understand why she... It always looks so sick. Very little tumors. Like, why don't the other Zergs do it? I don't get it. Poof. Edge of the creep. Go, go. Three overlords are on the way. And now unit production should start at 66 drones. Hey, there's six roaches out. Any amount of banelings is going to be enough. There's a single stim. That's it, right? Single stim, go, go. Nothing else. Six ravagers being built right now as special is just going to move on the map. I think the scan is almost wasting time. Like, you just need to go and win. Like, there's no follow-up here in my mind. There's none. Banelings are morphing a little far forward as uh, Biles trying to connect here. Stim gets activated. This is a huge... I think this is game. This is absolutely game. Like, you're not gonna kill this. First team is already running out over here. Uh, yes, three creep tumors got cleaned up, but Scarlet can go up to 85 workers at this point. Could play Muta. Could play Corruptors. 
could tag into Hive, rush out Ultras. Could build a Nidus, five Swarm Host, kill her own Hatchery, get three Vipers, kill another Hatchery, and then A move across to the other side of the map and still just win without any trouble. Like, there's literally no, no way that she loses. You need to mess up so hard. I think I would be capable of winning this game, quite honestly. And I'm a 5.3k Zerg. Maybe if all the Banes move into the rocks, the Ravagers bile themselves, and the Overseer explodes, but does friendly fire and kills all the links as well. Like, I feel like that would be a nice way to go, but... I, I, she's going to be up two upgrades the entire time. She's going to be up two bases the entire time. The possibility of going to a high. Like, if Special is going for, like, an A-Drex or something, or, like, a some some three base timing attack he's going to hit by the time the first four vipers are out like there will be ultras with 17 armor and he'll have one one marines like scarlet here is pushing while taking into hive getting pneumatized carapace and 11 more drones this is how there's no meta decks no well, well we got the flank where did they come from yeah, freaking bailing psyop over there they're yeah, from the high ground i guess great yeah, another stim. There's no Medivacs, dude. Can't stim forever. Ah, more rocks being taken out here. 93 drones for Scarlet against the 64 of her opponent. No fourth base yet for special. As 34 links get produced. I, this seems... Uh, yeah, there's a macro hatch. There's six bases. Six versus three. Army supply is favorable. <laughs> this is crazy. She's just eating the map as well. <sighs> Adios, map. It's nice to know your tile set, Babylon, but no more. It's all going to be creep now. All going to be creep. 28 more banes on the way. A double drop is being sent out. Might be capable of denying the sixth base. That would be great. I mean, you're still having 93 drone saturation. No spores in the main, really, yeah. This is a queued up drop as well. Scarlet needs to respond. Responds. Hmm. Scarlet needs to respond at a rapid pace. More drops coming in here. Losing the spawning pool is actually kind of bad, and it's annoying as well. It's gonna be rebuilt here as a viper is on the way out. Don't forget, special is still on three bases. He's on five barracks and one factory. This is the setup you usually at the see at the 6 minute mark, while Scarlet is at the setup you usually see at the, the 13 minute mark. With this type of eco, this type of tech, this types of these types of upgrades. Yeah, maybe you have slightly better upgrades at the 13 minute mark, actually. It's not uncommon to see uh, Elongated 2 2 for Zerg these days. Special's honestly doing kind of an okay job here. I mean, it still shouldn't work, don't get me wrong. If Special wins this game, I'll actually lose my brain. There's already so little left. Yeah, I mean, this is all on creep as well, like all these fights. This is complete domination. This is just complete domination. But it's all all stemming from that, that early game, right? It's not fair to say, wow, Scarlet really outplayed her opponent here. It's like, no, actually, no. Like, the early game was just way too good. And from there on out, it was literally impossible to lose. Special's going down... Uh, 0-1 here in this game should leave pretty soon from now. Yep, there we go. GG gets called. And indeed, Scarlet is going to win game one here on Babylon. Game number two, as this time it's not uh, special that does something weird. I mean, this is a fairly common opener, just a 2 Rex Reaper. It is Scarlet opening up with the tricks up her sleeve. Double gas roaches. In an early pool. No scout here. Coming out of special. Some prepared build order, I feel like. I mean most build orders tend to be prepared, but I mean like specifically for this map with the with all the with all the with all the two rexing and three rexing going on. I never really see roach builds succeed. The best solution against this this problem of the roaches uh, seems to come out of beyond, and that's a bunker in front of the barracks. And marine production, maybe even marauder production behind it. So you get one tech lab and then start marauder production. The other one just pumps out marines one at a time. But a bunker in front is uh, is a key feature in the defense. We're not quite seeing that tech lab yet. Maybe just pure marine production is also going to be fine. 
this is fairly far down, the positioning of this, and Scarlet's going to spot this. Can you just move towards the bottom side here? Clear this depot and run by the bunker? Or am I crazy? I mean, I'm not crazy. No, 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 no. Can't lose that Ovi. Actually, could fly the barracks. Oh my god! That is huge! That is massive. That is a big move! The special here is uh, repositioning these barracks as well. Reaper's looking for an angle. Going to get a couple of big shots for free and on this Ravager. Ravager in trouble. Oh, flanking Roach. Crouching Tiger, flanking Roach. Oop. Two Biles. This guy's uh, well damaged, though. Very well damaged. Oh, that's one Reaper that just went down. Control the special so far in this game has not been perfect. This, this bottom side depot is still vulnerable. I am wondering why we're... I, you could just build up units here and eventually walk by. I, there's no... Because there's no Marauders with Concussive on the way. This push seems to honestly kind of never end. Eventually you're going to break this bunker with a single Ravager shot. Like with a... You know? I think you need seven to one shot a bunker. Maybe eight. And that's eventually going to have... No, Scarlet can't afford to lose these. Can't afford to lose these. You're so close to the GSL. You're so close to the GSL. You cannot afford to lose these at this point. Okay, here we go. One shot. Two shots. Poof, that's gone. We'll lose a Ravager for it, though. Special in a world of trouble. People number one goes down. Oh, there's a Cyclone behind this. I didn't even see that. And my apologies for that. I said there's nothing that could end this push, but the Cyclone is, I guess, just as good as the Marauders are, usually. It's the Cyclone, it, it forces the Ravager to attack in because it's going to pick off units one at a time. If it's just pure Marine, then the Ravagers have the range advantage and eventually will win. But now Scarlet feels forced to move in. Bile's not going to connect. Cyclone gets another Ravager kill. And that means that this push will end with, uh, with Special now... Uh, well, now in charge. He's the one driving the car. Get away from this wheel. It's mine. <laughs> I don't actually know how driving works. People look at me and I say, you look like someone that knows how to drive. No, he's a generally competent person. It's not actually true. I have no clue how to drive. I drove once in my life. I didn't crash. I drove, drove on a parking lot in Canada. You know, automatic. It's because all cars in, uh, in Europe, or a lot of them, are oh, manual. It always looks so difficult. I was like, no shot, sure, I'm going to do that. I'd rather just play more StarCraft. This game is over, by the way. So that's why we're not discussing it anymore. This is a, a micro. Come on, you're playing lazy. It's okay, it's over. I mean, special here is, is, is being all in. And while being all in, is killing his opponent. Not brilliant for Scarlet here. That's what a boost about to finish up as well. But yeah, this is not looking great. Oh, this is not looking great at all. Ah, uh, Scarlet surely knows that it is fairly over right now. It's gonna move across the map with these links. See that there's a, a million different SCVs in the natural. There's gonna be a third CC soon as well. Banshee will pop out soon. More Cyclones on the way. Full wall. I think special play is kind of sloppy, but it's absolutely fine. A win is a win. And that's the only thing that truly matters. GG. Yep, there we go. Special ties up the series, and that means we'll be going to the final game of the final qualifier in a loser bracket between Special and Scarlet. Welcome here to game number three on a Royal Blood. As it's going to be a... Uh... Well, I can't actually quite know what's going to be, but most likely it's going to be double barracks again in the wall. This Reaper build has been so popular. Beyond really kind of reinventing the meta in the latest DreamHack Summer, just showing to all the Terrans that if you know how to control Reapers, you can get very far left. Ooh. Double gas? This is different. This is very different. So... What is this then? Reaper? And you build a factory down here, maybe? Is that what you do? Or a factory up here? It's like a TVT builder, you know? 
It's going to be a low ground factory. Get spotted by Scarlet, though. Probably, right? You see this. You pop in a little bit because you want to see the CC. Then you see the factory. She clicked it. You saw the thing on it. Saw the little circle. The, the green circle. Reaper, Reaper, Hellion? This is a... Ooh, a lot of gas mining still as well. Usually you see 1-1 one, one mining behind this, but it's actually 2-2. Two, two. This is a significant delay here on that uh, natural base. It really is. There's no scout. Reaper goes in. And the beauty of uh, building the barracks in the natural is that your Reaper arrives like 4 or 5 seconds faster as well, that first Reaper, which gives it a lot more time to deal with Lynx. Starport coming out now. Behind this. Could be BCs. Special is a... He's a battle cruiser, man, isn't he? Almost gets a link kill there. Good two grenades, actually. Very nice grenades. Significant damage there on that queen. It's the first cars now coming out. There's not so many queens yet. There's only two. Special's looking for damage. Not quite finding it. And, you know, tickling those queens for now. This base might be in trouble. I think Gumiho played a similar build, actually, at DreamHack. DreamHack Summer. Oh, that's a queen. That's gone. That's gone. That's absolutely that right now. Second queen, because of that, is also going to be in some more trouble. There is a transfuse close to being available there. If that queen gets taken out before that hits, though, that would be real bad here for Scarlet. That would be real bad for Scarlet. Raven has a follow-up. Now we're talking. Absolute beast here, special. Roach Warren gets built. Third CC on the way. <sighs> Indeed, pressure you're here coming uh, out of special. Marines as well. Perhaps for scout denial. Depot gets thrown down. I am very. I've never seen this particular build quite before. Second Raven. What? I mean, Ling run by is obviously pointless, right? There's a wall. We know there's a wall. Maybe it's for a flank. We've not quite spot that Raven. Queen's in some trouble. One more transfuse available. As three roaches are coming out. I think these are defensive roaches, by the way. I don't think Scarlet is planning on moving across the map. Oh, goes for a snipe on the reactor here. That would be kind of... Kind of big, almost. Almost? Kind of big, yeah. No extra gases yet. No extra barracks either. I don't know if Special knows what he wants to do. I don't think he does. Raven dealt a little bit of worker damage. Two. Two kills, to be exact. Banshee behind this. So it's two Raven into Banshee. These are just going to idle in a corner, I guess. Okay, now, you, now you've got me. What is the play here, my friend? What is the actual freaking play? Because I don't know. Oh, loses a raven after killing a single worker. This is not good here for a special. Okay, it's bio. These are late barracks, though. These are real late barracks. Okay, the Hellions are moving forward, looking for some damage, looking for some kills. And perhaps they are going to find it. Drones need to start moving away. Evo Chamber, not quite in time. But the drone splittles have been okay. Roach not firing. Spore gets constructed. That is not a full wall. 11 drones go down. An absolute disaster here. Uh, barbecue. Uh, eight tier barbecue here. Out of special. Loses all of his cars. Kills 17 drones. And on top of that, Scarlet also built a bunch of roaches during this, rather than focusing purely on drones. Raven got no extra kills, but is still alive. It's going to be fast 1-1 here, 4 special, but his supply is garbage. 5 barracks being added at a time? Okay. What you doing, buddy? Tell me about it, because I have no clue what this is. Two more drones go down, I don't quite know where. I feel like this Raven had something to do with it. Yeah, definitely did. 3 drones, almost 4. This, this raven is now in a in pretty much dead space. 
Banshee patrolling the middle of the map. Eight more drones coming out for Scarlet, who is still up in supply, but is probably going to fall behind the moment the extra infrastructure finishes up here for Special. Special has better eco, has better upgrades, and I don't think Special can die. And you know what that means? It means that's real bad for Scarlet. Probably wanting to go into 1-1, one, one, adding a, a Baneling Nest, and then playing like Ravager Ling Bane, perhaps. This is a possibility, but... On low drone counts, it can be hard to do that. Like, there's no early game lead here for Scarlet, like there was in game number one on Babylon. Ah, those 17 drone kills really hurt. Really, really hurt, actually. Double medevac drop uh, moving out. There's no tank with it. The creep tumors will get blasted. Six overlords popping as well. Carapace is the first upgrade. What else are we getting? I think it might just be range, actually. Look, pure roach in production. I think this might just be range. Okay, these bad boys are gonna move towards the main base. Yeah, Scarlet realized that I that she doesn't think she can she, she can stay on this uh, play play melee here. She can't she can't play Ling Bane. I think doesn't have the creep threat, doesn't have the eco, and roaches can function on lower eco. Well, these uh, roaches definitely aren't functioning though. As, uh, three of them get sniped here. Queen's moving in position to get a couple of shots in on those medevacs. It's 1-1 one, one versus 0-0. Zero, zero. Marauder Marine moving across the map. Three tech laps here. Two tech laps. No, three. Three tech laps. Oh, this is eight racks. Ain't it? Yeah, it's eight racks. Three tech laps, five reactors. It's a lot of units. One queen goes down. Second queen will almost fall, but not quite. So a couple of marines will die against the roaches. Cloud reconstitution hadn't even started yet until just now. Raven will still get one more auto turret in, but doesn't really achieve anything as that bad boy will die. Almost would have preferred seeing that Raven just use the anti-armor with the main army. As these queens are going down, these Ravagers are falling as well. Scarlet in a world of trouble without the road speed. Tanks in the back. Well, tank in the back. Singular. Um, is going to give a little bit of assistance here, but this is 1-1 one, one versus 0-0. Zero, zero. Second tank does show up. As Special continues fighting into this Roach Force. Loses a lot of the Marines, actually. But overall, still a very worthwhile trade. As the tanks barely get picked up in time. And that was a pretty huge move there. That was a pretty huge move indeed. Now, this is all in coming out of Special. Doesn't even have a, an Armory. No, he doesn't have an Armory. It hasn't started 2-2 yet. I think he's making it work. What an insanely close game this has been still. And still is, honestly. 1-1 one, one is about to finish up for Scarlet. Ah, special is too far ahead now. It's just... There's not enough. No road speed makes these fights so much harder. No 1-1 one, one makes these fights so much harder. Scarlet tries to give up this base right now, but I think it's too late already. And so, yeah, we have a, a major pullback here towards those tanks. This base is going to fall. More units are just streaming across the map. Fort CC now starts as well. We have three Ravagers in production, but... Uh, plus two carapace hasn't started, plus two range hasn't started. There's no outlook on when Hive is going to get their infestation pit. I mean, Scarlet isn't even dreaming of an infestation pit right now. Not even close. No dreams of infestation pits at all. Tanks are unseached and yeah, G to the G. And Scarlet uh, loses game number three. I mean, Special will qualify for the GSL once more. Congratulations to Special. Um... Needing the two qualifier matches here, as well as the second round in the GSL qualifiers. Now, a big shout out to the Patreon of the GSL, which helps, of course, funding that tournament. So be sure to check that out. Also allows you to get all of the qualifying replays. I'll be doing a couple more over the next couple of days. So uh, if you don't have the dispensable cash or you don't want to, then I'll be taking care of that. Or if you just want to hear some high level commentary over it, of course, then I'm your man. As uh, this is going to be it for me today. Thanks all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Thank you and bye-bye.